we are installing the EMAG in the Edge 540. So Lycoming 540, um, EMAG is a six cylinder electronic ignition, direct replacement for your mags. It has internal um, generator, so it'll enable you to replace both mags if you want. So that's what we're doing. So both mags are gone. Uh, two new EMAGs. So let me show you how it works. I want to show you real quick while it's off the airplane. It's easier to see. This is what your uh, EMAG looks like compared to a impulse coupler mag. It's about the same. So you won't have any difference there on the back of your engine. When you're looking at the back of the EMAG, it's got three banks of coils. A, B, and C. So as long as you're a regular turning engine, A drives 1, 2, B drives 3, 4, C drives 5, 6. And then you have to wire up a little ignition, uh, a little harness, I should say. Power, ground, a P lead to your magneto switch to kill it, and a RPM feed. If you're doing both mags, then only one mag will use your RPM feed. Um, so you have to wire that up. And then the last thing on the back here is your manifold pressure. You'll have a manifold pressure feed because it does advanced timing based on your manifold pressure. It's kind of nice. <clears throat> on this side of it, there's an LED light right here. This LED light does a lot. It tells you when the mag is powered it turns green when it's hot when you have the mag switched on it turns red so it tells you that it's ready to fire um, you also use this LED light in programming and to verify your timing so once you have the mag timed this LED light at top dead center turns yellow and the mag also tones um, at 29 degrees it turns white and at 20 degrees before top dead center, it turns blue. And those are the default settings. So once you set this thing to top dead center, it defaults to 20 minimum advance, 29 max advance. You also can change those settings if you want. You actually can only change the min. There's gonna be a nine degree spread regardless of what you set the min at. But if you set the min at 23, let's say instead of 20, then it'll give you a 32 advance and so on so there you go this button right here inside this little hole that's the button you use to program the little guy and I'll show you that when we get to that point of the install so easier to see out of the airplane but here's what it looks like installed regular uh, auto ignition wires so you can Cut them to length and put them in how you want. Make it nice and easy. And then I'll show you what the cockpit looks like. All right, so inside the cockpit here, you'll see you need to wire up two five amp circuit breakers, one for each mag. Um, they do use shore power, your battery on start. And then once they get up to a certain RPM, they generate their own power. Um, so, You'll need these in order to test that that's working as part of your run up. You would um, kill the power to the mags and just verify that they're running on their own generator and not using your battery. So they run through this and also through your mag switch so that you can ground each mag accordingly. Okay, so the big check now, the big check to make sure that we got all the wiring right and everything. So. I've pushed in uh, both breakers so that we got power going to the mags. <clears throat> and we'll go up here and we're just gonna verify that they've lit up and they have. So the LEDs are uh, green on each one, which means power is getting to them, but they are not hot. So I'm gonna go over here to the mag switch. I'm gonna turn to the left and you can see that the right mag is now active and the left mag is grounded, and then I'm gonna go right. And now we've got the right mag is uh, not on, and the left mag is hot. And then we go to both, and now they're both hot. So the nice thing about the LED, you can look right away and tell whether your mags are hot or not. And then we'll go back the other way, 
kill the right one, kill the left one, and now off. So that's a nice function of these when you're in there, you know right away if you're dealing with a hot mag or not. So time to time the mags. So the engine is in number one top center. And um, this is a lot easier to do with a friend, but since I don't have a friend today, I'm gonna do this by myself. So all you have to do is push the button on the mag that um, I showed you on the other one for the program it. Hold that button down while you turn on the power source. So I'm gonna flip this around so you can see that. All right, so hopefully you can see this. It's gonna be a little difficult because it's black in there, but I'm gonna push the button on the mag and you'll see the LED lights fire up when they fire up. Okay, turning on the power to the mag and it goes blue, which means it's in program mode. So there you go. So it's flashing blue with a green every now and then. And again, what I did was I held the button on the mag while I applied power to it from the uh, control bar. Now, you have your engine in top dead center. And once your engine's in top dead center, you come back to the button here and you hold it for six seconds. Let me get here so you can see. Okay, here we go. Uh, there you go, now you can see it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beeps. And now, it knows top dead center. The nice thing about these mags is they tone for you in top dead center. So there's the yellow light telling you that it's in top dead center. We'll leave it there and we're gonna verify now that it knows top dead center, but it also is gonna know 20 degrees before. And so now that we have it programmed for top dead center, you're gonna verify your max and your min lead um, time. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna rotate it and at 29 degrees before top dead center, it should turn white. And I don't know if you can see that with the washout, but there it turned white. I'm gonna keep going to 20 degrees before top dead center. And it goes back to green, it should turn blue. When it gets to 20 degrees before top dead center, I'm slowly tapping it here. It's easy to start to beep, so it's getting close. There, it went blue, and it's at 20 degrees. And then I'm gonna keep going until we get to top center, which is coming up here and it should turn yellow. There it is, a top center. So there it is, it's all programmed. It knows top center, and that defaults to 20 degrees before top center for minimum advance, 29 for maximum advance. And that's it. And we're done. Emags are installed, and we're ready to fire it up. The most difficult part of the entire installation was removing the studs for the impulse coupler mag. Um, the rest of it was really smooth, really easy. Setting it up for timing and everything was really easy. So uh, she fires right up, she runs. The biggest thing you'll notice is your RPM is higher. So um, you have to do a bunch of adjusting on your idle mixture setting and your, your um, idle. But uh, that's it. So hope this helps. See ya.